positive international cooperation to resolve our shared challenges is always the best way forward. Um, there's no question about that. And right now, you're right, we're facing increased uh, levels of geopolitical uh, risk and geopolitical tensions and some significant crises. Uh, I mean, the events uh, over the last uh, week or so out of um, you know, in Israel, they've just been horrendous. I mean, those barbaric terrorist attacks, and, and our heart goes out. Our hearts go out to the people of Israel. It's just awful to see that unfold. Um, but, you know, if I, if I look at the economy globally, um, the economy continues to grow. It's low growth. Uh, it's still, um, I mean, inflation has come down. It remains too high, but it's, it's coming down. Um, trade is weaker than we would like it to be. And, and I guess our, our message. Uh, is indeed, as you've just said, we need to tackle the short-term pressures, the external shocks, but at the same time really focus on uh, tackling some of these longer-term structural challenges yeah. like the green transition, uh, the in, in digital transformation, and indeed some of the structural issues around um, the impacts of population aging, mm. uh, productivity, weak trade. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to be speaking to the EU Trade Commissioner in a short while, Valdis Dombrovskis, and he's just come back from Beijing. And even though, I guess on paper, many people are saying that international cooperation is important, at the same time, we hear of trade barriers going up. We hear of the EU looking to launch an investigation into anti-subsidy practices. We hear the U.S. In introducing export licenses on key technology to China. So all of these things must be obstacles to, to, to cooperation. Well, we, we see trade barriers increasing when they should be reducing. That's right. And increasing trade barriers will make the global economy weaker, will make people around the world poorer, and is particularly bad news for people in developing countries who mm. uh, deserve the opportunity to be able to increase incomes and living standards on the back of increased participation in the global market. I would like to pick up on that because this is definitely one of the main topics here this week. We're seeing lower global economic growth. Mm. We're seeing all of these trade barriers uh, emerging. Where are we going from here? Well, our message is precisely that we need to lower trade barriers, that we yeah. need to ensure that we restore a global rules by striding system in good working order, mm -hmm. that we give everyone a fair opportunity to participate uh, in yeah. uh, the global market so that, that people all around the world can improve uh, their living standards and their quality of life. Can I just ask you your, just how you're feeling about the global economy in terms of where we're going growth-wise? The World Economic Outlook showed that the growth uh, has slowed down to around 3%, expected to stay there over the next five years. Does that tie into what you're seeing as well? And, and, and do you have hope that we can actually get back to the pre-pandemic trend? Well, we see growth um, having slowed since uh, last year, and, and we expect it to slow a bit more next year. And, and indeed, we see a weakening of global trade. Um, you know, as I say, I mean, in order to restore growth, I mean, there's some things we need to do uh, on, on, in terms of responding to short-term challenges. Monetary policy will continue to remain or have to remain restrictive in order to really tackle inflation. By the same token, we've got to really recommit uh, to boosting productivity growth through increased investment and competition enhancing reforms. And, and we've got to really come up with, um, to ac with ways to accelerate uh, the green transformation, the digital transformation, and to tackle some of the economic and social impacts of population aging. Um, but you know, over, over the, I mean, in the short term, the good news is that the global economy continues to grow. Over the medium to long term, we've got to commit ourselves to the necessary reforms to boost growth. Yeah.